Uh, I'm Trent Whiting. I'm the Alberta marketing rep with CCAN. I'm also our parent scene coordinator. And I'm really happy to be here in front of the University of Alberta uh, wheat plots because uh, I'm actually a graduate and both of my kids are graduates of the U of A in agriculture or in environmental science. So this is kind of near and dear to my heart. So I got to thank Dean for what he's done. And I think it's really, really cool to see this from a CCAN perspective and from an industry perspective, how Dean's been able to take the program uh, from its kind of infancy starting over there all the way along. You can see how he's listened to us in the industry and the farmers out there. Um, and he's come out with some really unique stuff and I can't wait for the third, fourth, fifth generations to come because it really looks cool. Um, I'm standing in front of Prada, which was our first variety out of his program. Um, it's more of a conventional height, uh, CWRS. Really it's claim to fame is it's really early for maturity. Um, protein really good on it and uh, it stands up pretty well. I won't say it stands up the best, but it stands up very well. And for those really early maturing guys, I think this is a fabulous fit for them. And we've actually seen it, uh, the spread now throughout Alberta and a little bit into Saskatchewan. I think we're gonna see it move a little farther from there. So Red Net's another one. I think that's MR to Fusarium, if I remember right. And then for us, the next one out of Dean's program that we're excited about is Ellerslie. Short, strong straw, very strong straw. Um, big yield potential, um, medium maturity though. It's not nearly as early as uh, Prada would be. I would say it's a medium. Um, depending on the, it's good, it has a good disease package. You can see it by the leaves when you're in the field. Um, and uh, the quality, very good with it. We did have a little learning experience with seed production, um, but uh, all is good. And we got a number of members across West or across Alberta growing it right now. So it'll hit the market for the first time next spring. Um, this one has extremely high yield potential. This is our line that was released last year. So it's, the, it's just in the first year of multiplication, but it was uh, our first CPS line that we registered. And it's obvious, we're hoping that this actually has a replacement value for foremost in the Northern Alberta region area. It's obviously we're breeding in this region, so we hope that it has some territorial advantage um, for a CPS line. It's not early, it's high yielding. And that would be the same sort of, same standability, same look, same uh, yield potential as foremost, but with a, of course a much better uh, Pro, uh, disease profile that you can see quite strongly here disease is not there <laughs> this would be our also a line that could potentially be registered this year but you can see lodging in the back of that plot so I'm not doing good advertisement here but that's the only plot in this region that's actually uh, looks like it has weak knees it did that last year too but it does have probably 18 to between 15 and 20 percent higher yielding than the checks. It has the SM1 gene that makes it resistant to uh, orange wheat blossom. Mid. But this is what you want to show in the real world. You want to go, okay, what's it really going to do out there? Because the last thing for us as marketers or for a farmer to do is to get a variety and they see it like HY 2082, but then when they put it in the field, it reacts totally differently. And that's what you want to see at this stage is that, okay, if it does this here, you can go, okay, this is how we manage it. Versus you put it on a big acre in someone's field and the last thing you want to do is upset somebody. So I think it's really important to, to assess that as you go. Yeah, if we choose to register it. The, the thing with this variety is it went into third year of the Parkland Co-op. It was the highest yielding in the Parkland Co-op two years running, it was super high yield. Um, it did very well with quality. It has very strong dough. And last year, Glen, which is the top for, for quality for dough strength, crapped out because it's pre-harvest sprouted. And that was the big problem with last year um, was that you had the, the harvest conditions that led to pre-harvest sprouting, which I think farmers now are concerned with things like falling number, which was, is a sort of laboratory um, proxy for actual sprouting. And when a wheat plant sprouts, it uses up its, its uh, endosperm, it uses up some of the material in it, and so you have a breakdown of cell walls, you, you lead to flower that really doesn't rise very well. You've already sort of, 
growing the plant inside the inside the um, inside the kernel. And so falling number is simply a proxy measurement of how it might be sprouting. Last year it appeared uh, while Glen has the best dose strength and it, you've been used as the top quality level for dose strength in all our testing. Last year it also has the lowest uh, falling number scores. And you would expect from that that it would have the lowest pre-harvest sprouting. And what happened last year is I think in the, a lot of the trials that it was growing in, it did sprout. The uh, dose strength ended up being really low so that that changed the consistencies of the test. And so we re-enter this because this line got rated as being too strong last year. And so we just re-entered it as a fourth year entry because it is our first line with SM1 line. It is a regular height variety because obviously it's a cross with uh, the variety Unity that became a big uh, variety in the prairies. That was very good uh, for it. Well, it had the SM1 gene as well to make it resistant to uh, orange wheat blossom midge. But Unity, even Unity, it is falling over too. It's too tall for this region of the prairies. It, it doesn't do well here. And also it was one of the lines that led to the problems with uh, dose strength and the changing and delisting of lines. Yeah, it had so. gluten strength issues, but it had a high falling number. Yeah. It had good, really good Very grain retention yeah. with Unity, but it was that. And this would have that as well and be very strong. It might not pass quality because it might simply be too strong is what they call it.